returned to the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for forty days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing, and afterwards, when they had ended, he was hungry. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. And this is why I started out by telling you to tell your neighbor, I got a word. Because Jesus, like us, are led. He was led by the Holy Ghost. Into the wilderness. Said he was hungry. He hadn't eaten anything. And just like us, with him, the devil would try to keep you. At, he tried to catch him at his weakest moment. Weakest moment. He's hungry. Had ate nothing. Been fasting all this time. You gotta be hungry. How many of you fast? You ever fasted for more than two hours? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that now? Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, well, God said I could eat now. And that was just you. So Jesus fasted all these days. It's possible. It is possible. I just have never asked God for me to fast that long. Because I like to eat. Lost a lot of weight, but I still like to eat. So he says, the devil challenged him, just like he challenges so many of us. If you're if you're the child of God, don't cast the devil out of that person. See, the devil will always try to challenge you to step out of God to a place where God has not qualified you to be at. He may have said that you're going to be this. Just like David. He was king before he was king. He was anointed to be king. That doesn't mean he took the throne right away. So here you have the devil tempting Jesus. Three times. And every time he came under temptation, he said, it is written, or I say to you. So in order to say something, i got to open my mouth, at my mouth and release something. Yes. So Jesus, remember when they came to him in the garden and they asked, he asked them, who are you looking for? And he said, everybody fell down because so much power went out from him. <laughs> then he told me, get up. So much power went out, they got up. Here he is again. Luke 10 19. Jesus said, I give you power and authority over serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. And it said, Nothing by any means shall harm you. <laughs> the only way you can actively be have that scripture in your life to do something oh, yes. is you have to be bold enough to open your mouth and All declare right. something. You have to open your mouth and release some dominion. You have to tell the devil, he can't do this yeah. and he can't do this. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Read Joe. God told him, you can do this but you can't do this. So next time the devil starts trying to tempt you, all you got to do is tell the devil, Amen. I'm just going to do what you do. Amen. I'm going to open it up. <laughs> I'm just going to obey God. So, three times he tempted Jesus. And all Jesus did, he didn't put his hands on him. He didn't argue with him. He didn't contend nothing. All he did was say, It is written. Go read the word. The word of God says this. I know so much about who I am, I can just tell you it is written. <laughs> and you have to obey. All right. That's right. That's right. But if you don't have a word, you yeah. can't declare anything. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so all of you who dusted your Bibles off for today, <laughs> I want to encourage you. The Bible says in John chapter 6, it says the flesh profits nothing. But these words are spirit.
the spirit, and it is life. And that means sometimes you got to push out from that table and just get in on the word of God. Psalm, the 37th Psalm, talks about feeding on the faithfulness of God. How do I feed on the faithfulness of God? I take a moment to stop and just look. I peek over my shoulder and see where he brought me from. What he delivered me out of. What he saved me out of. What he did for me out of. Hey. The bills that I got Say paid. That. The car note got paid. They wanted to take this. I feed on God's faithfulness. And when you begin to feed on his faithfulness, then you learn how to be faithful. And the Bible commanded us to be faithful stewards over the things of God. So these words that I've spoken to you this morning, Luke 137, after the Bible, and you get a chance, read that. And it says that nothing is impossible for God. Some of you are facing some things that seem insurmountable. God, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. And God is saying, I know. God, I don't know how I'm going to pay this. And God's saying, I know. Yes, that's right. That's yes, right. That's yes. right. God, I don't know how I'm going to stop doing this. God said, I know. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. See, the days of people walking around in the house of God, shamed, and there's no such thing. Amen. Romans 8 chapter Amen. says that there is no condemnation. Therefore, there is now Amen. no condemnation. Oh. None. There is not any. For those of us who love God. <clears throat> And if there's no condemnation, I want to encourage you in this room, take your hand up. I don't care what you did last night. I don't care if you just did it three hours ago. If you get before God and get that thing right, pick your head up. Pick your head up.
talking to you. The devil's trying to destroy something in your life through that anger. Angry, I said angry man. I said, angry man, I'm talking to you. So, angry man. Somebody in here. Fits of rage. I know because I just got angry. Somebody in here. But I want you to be encouraged. You don't have to wait for an altar call to get delivered. Yes. All right. Amen. Because if God is here, this whole place yes. is the altar.
Hallelujah. 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 If you're in this place, It's not me that has to do it. It's God. And I believe in God with everything that is within me. That the anointing now, I said fresh anointing. God, you got to do it. Fill him up now. To the man of God, from the bottom of those feet to the crown of his head. Let the anointing now, the power of God come upon you right where you stand. Now, touch. So if you're in this room, yes, yes, yes. and it's something that you want God to do.